What's up gang, RA here. Going to tour at Charlestown today, but first we're gonna start off with the perfect breakfast, the Gigi special. Here comes my uncle right now, Uncle George. He's gonna cook one for Biz. Biz doesn't even know yet. What's up, Uncle George? How you doing? He's here to make the Gigi special right about now. This guy's a wizard when it comes to the kitchen. I got all kinds of goodies. Let's get cracking. Well, in the merry month of May, from me home, I started, left the girls at home. Nearly... I'll let the chef tell them. All right. Gigi special. Great jelly. Philadelphia cream cheese. The bagels. The bagels. Here's the thing on the bagels for you people listening. Don't buy cheap bagels. These are the finagle bagels. Don't buy frozen London bagels. I usually buy these or they have these other bagels. Zeppies and Dunkin' Donuts has good bagels, believe it or not. And I bought three Pepsis too. And bacon. The bacon. Here's the key. I cut the bacon in half. People cook bacon, they throw the whole strip of bacon in. In order to make proper bacon, which most people don't know how to do, you cut it in half, and you cook half at a time, and the key to cooking bacon is you want it at low to temperature, to between low and medium. As you can see, I bought my own pan, which is there, and I only strictly use that for bacon. I put nothing else in it, that's my bacon pan. But anyways, I don't expect people to do all that shit. Salute your father, dear. Kiss me, darling, mother, then drank a pint of beer. And I worked with this guy, Frank Bosby, who was 20 years old to me, who was the funniest guy I ever met in my life. And he was a drunk. <laughs> we sit out of cafeteria every morning and have a break. They get breakfast. And... So one morning he sat there, and he sat down, he had a sesame bagel, and he had those little packets of grape jelly, and a little packet of cream cheese. He put the cream cheese on, spread it on, then he put the jelly on, and then he had a pound of bacon, put the bacon on, put the cover on, and I looked at him and I said, Frank, that's disgusting. <laughs> and the guy beside me, my worker, he says, where do you try one? I said, that'll be the day. Well, lo and behold, about a week later, I tried one, and I've been eating them since 1971. Hey, how you doing, dude? Hey, Gigi. How you doing, man? Oh, my goodness, look at that. When I envisioned it, I envisioned more cream cheese and more uh, jam, but I'm thrilled that, that it's it's a lot lighter, and it's like the perfect hint of each of them to not take away from the bacon. That's what you want to do, dude. And I, I, I think you nailed it with the sesame seed bun. I'm a huge sesame seed bagel guy, so I would give this 9.5 out of 10. Wow. For the simple fact of it's, it's, it's easy to make, it's delicious. I wouldn't recommend having them every day. This is a specialty. This is a, a maybe a once a month type of sandwich. But that's the that's way you want your bacon, just like that. And that's it. All right, gang. Well, there you go. The Gigi Special. Make yours at home. Let us know. Tag us with the hashtag Gigi Special. Don't buy the cheap bagels.